I'm here with two chaps who don't really need an introduction in Leeds. Of course, it is the Brownlee brothers, Alistair and Johnny. How are you today? Uh, good, thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, fine. Bit sore after the weekend, but yeah, not too bad. And that's all we're here to talk about. Obviously, World Series Triathlon on home turf came in first, second place. Unbelievable, right? Yeah, thanks very much. It was brilliant. It was a, just a massive honour being able to race in our hometown in you know, one of the biggest, best triathlons in the world. And yeah, thankfully it went well. <laughs> was it a lot of pressure to do it on your home turf? Was it a huge expectation for you guys to come through and get those first and second places? Yeah, there was definitely a lot of pressure. Uh, obviously, it's been talked about for a long time. There was our posters all over Town Hall. You know, we were probably 12 foot high in the Town Hall and there's pictures everywhere. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of pressure, but we're used to that pressure. Obviously, we had a home Olympics four years ago. where uh, I never experienced pressure like that. Uh, but it was a nice kind of friendly pressure as well, because obviously it's a local pressure. And uh, but it was absolutely incredible to get first and second. Unbelievable. Now, triathlon consists of three rounds. Which is your strongest round out of the swimming, the running and the cycling? Probably the running is the strongest one, but for both of us, you know, we've worked very hard that you're quite even across all three um, to be able to race on the swim and then early part of the bike like we did last weekend. Um, but then always, you know, the run's the last part and that's normally where the, the race is won. And when you get to the run part, that's kind of where you know realistically where you're going to come, getting towards the last rounds. Being brothers, obviously, you kind of work as a team as such, and that, but towards the end, it is kind of winner takes it all. Is there that stride and competition to, to get that first place between you two as brothers? Oh, definitely, of course. Us. Both of us want to win. That's how we do all the training. Um, Alistair beats me more times than I beat him, but yeah, we both want to win. It's actually the first time we race each other. That leads to the first time we race each other in two years. So we haven't really had that competition. Us. Obviously, we haven't been training day out, but when it comes to races, we try and help each other out in the first parts of the triathlon, just swim the bike. And when it comes down to the run, it's every man for himself. And how do you help each other out? Well, on the bike, you know, you can be tactically uh, aware of wherever each other is. So um, on Sunday, it was a good example. I saw Johnny attack from a group behind me and I just waited that little bit to give him the toe along. And then obviously we work hard together to speed the race up as much as we can. No, definitely. Now, going more into like the personal lives, is there some things, including career as well, that irritate you a little bit in training? Do you get frustrated with each other? What are they? I want to know. I suppose with Alistair, he's always late everywhere, so ah. I'm a very kind of prompt on time person, so he likes to be late and that stresses me out occasionally. What are you going to say about Johnny? He always has to do everything early. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something on Twitter about a noodle burrito, huh. some sort of fetish of yours? Uh, yeah, well, neither is uh, renowned for our uh, cuisine or cooking ability, huh. um, and so all doing shopping and planning ahead. Mm. So it was something I think we had to knock up once because we had nothing else in the mm. cupboard. No, definitely. Now, future for the Brownlee brothers, what is to come? Oh, obviously, at the Rio Olympic Games comes in, well, it's about 50 days and it goes now to the start. So for us, about uh, about 60 days. Um, so we got training camp before that. Uh, we go to Switzerland and training camp for five weeks and then we go to Brazil and race. Then we come home, we've got the Brownlee try on the 24th of September here in Howard House. and. Um, yeah, we'll be we'll be competing there in some shape or form, and uh, that's an event where if anyone's got inspired from from the World Series that weekend can come and do a triathlon. Whether it's your first time or your experienced uh, triathlete, come down and get yourself entered and come down here in September. Brilliant. Well, good luck. Have fun in Rio. Yeah, Lovely to meet you. Oh, cheers. The Thank Brownie you. Brothers.